It's 11 a.m. on a Monday, and Richard Cadle is already behind. I'm a disorganized mess. But considering this is where he works, the product probably won't suffer. I still got to uh, take all the sharp edges off. That's because the Calaveras County man makes art out of junk. This is an armadillo guy. He's made out of a Kawasaki gas tank. The company he calls Gypsy Environmental Art was born several years ago out of sheer boredom. Cato was working as an overnight security guard. There's a big scrap metal pile, and I thought there were some interesting looking pieces in there. So he brought them home and started creating decorations for his front yard. When he got laid off, and I told him, take all that stuff out and sell it. I went to go sell them on the side of the road, and they sold. He's made out of a muffler. Five years later, it's a successful family business. Cato's wife, Angela, makes sure the pieces get noticed. And I've always painted everything. Girls I used to work with used to tease me that if, if it didn't get up and move in my house, it got painted. So what does this junk art cost to buy? Pieces range from these $8 ladybugs to some pieces not for sale. Richard has a real soft spot for this 300-pound flower. It's the first piece he ever created. Other than that, he's hard-pressed to find a favorite. But he can tell you what he doesn't like. How do you feel about the frogs? Uh, I don't like the frogs. <laughs> There's so many welds on their feet, and I have to spend, spend all day just making feet. Word of the family business has spread. Cato often walks outside on a Saturday morning. There'll be metal out in my yard. Somebody just dropped off. And he wouldn't have it any other way. The family, including quality control supervisor, nine-year-old Tucker, is hooked. I just like making something out of nothing. In the morning, you know, you wake up and you go, wow, you know, we're really doing this. In Calaveras County, Shanna Franklin, Fox 40 News.